How did I feel? I felt overwhelmed and I thought it was a terrible mistake. You know, this is obviously can't be happening. There are so many fantastic people that I know who do so many great things and you know, really in a way, <clears throat> I just do what I really enjoy in a, in a field that I love. So it just seemed to be, I was being acknowledged for something that was just intrinsic to my life anyway. But it was amazing and wonderful and quite overwhelming. My mum and dad were local business people in, in smaller communities where it was just taken for granted really that you know you supported the church and you supported the school. Um, you went to sports days. Um, my dad was in Lions and Rotary and it was just instinctive. But I think the thing that really that really changed my thinking about philanthropy or, or really made me understand how important it was was my great friend Margaret Olley, uh, the artist who was a fabulous artist and a great, great philanthropist. And her journey started in the 80s when she started to make, you know, excess money probably from paintings, um, from her painting, from her, her career. And she started to support artists by buying their work and donating them to galleries. She, uh, it, it became um, her life's passion really, that and painting, that's what she was and that's how she's known today. And that became for me an amazing observation because I you know, saw an awful lot of her. And I also, because we were her dealers, uh, I knew exactly what she was giving away because when I had these you know, huge selling exhibitions, always completely sold out and it was this large amount of money, she didn't want it. She said, oh, I think send 100,000 to the Art Gallery of New South Wales. And I've heard about this, um, you know, there's this small gallery in, in, in Armadale. I think we should do something there. So very little of the money that she made actually went to her. It immediately went out. Amazing, really. I said to her once, why are you doing this? She said, <laughs> it's such a hopeless answer, really. She just said, oh, what's it all about, darling? It's a great, great answer, doesn't what do you, what do you, what do you do with that? Why do I do what I do? I don't know what else I would do. I mean, the arts have always been my life. And since I've been involved with some great performing arts companies, particularly uh, like Opera Australia and Opera Queensland and the Australian Chamber Orchestra and Queens and Symphony, I've been involved with them on a board level and as a patron for years and years, and I think the, it's like anything. The more you know about anything, the more involved you become and you realise just what is involved, how difficult it is to get a show up, how difficult it is to keep you know, hundreds of people employed, how difficult it is for the creative uh, genius that we have, geniuses that we have in Australia to keep going, to be paid enough, a pittance you, you really, but you know, to be paid enough to at least survive. So. Ah, you know, it's a bit like Ollie. What's it all about? Why would I not do it? Oh, there is much more than just the cash, yeah. I think, in a way, the public recognition of philanthropy generally in Australia has been a great thing. It's, it's been, Australians are by nature, you know, quite reserved and a little bit uh, reticent about being um, acknowledged because, you know, we, we're very conscious of the tall pop poppy syndrome and don't get above yourself and all of that sort of thing. Unlike America, which, you know, celebrates their, their achievements much more openly than we do. But it's changing now. I think QCF is enormously important and it's, it's a baby, you know, it's a baby in terms of its years. It's, it's, it's so young. And the fact that the, the, the three people who more or less founded it are still, are still with us is extraordinary, you know. And, and to have the, uh, the corpus that it already has and to be able to do what it does and across such a wide landscape of Queensland is, it's an amazing thing. It's really fantastic. I think it's essential that our young people and <clears throat> up and coming leaders understand how important philanthropy is. It's crucial to so many areas of, of, of this world. You know, not just the arts, of course, but uh, medicine and research and education. Philanthropy just drives so many things that we just take for granted. And if, 
If, if it isn't there, and in these days of declining government subsidies, which is inevitable, particularly now in this current uh, crisis that we're in, philanthropy is just become, going to become more and more and more important. My friend Barry Humphreys, the, the artist, he likes to be considered an artist and also an actor, when he came to Brisbane about 40 years ago for a show, uh, he, uh, he, his great friend Robert Dickerson, who was at that point living in Brisbane and was one of my artists, introduced us. So Barry sort of came into the gallery for the first time and said, oh yes, Philip Bacon, friend of the artists. And um, I think that's a pretty nice way to be remembered. That can go on my gravestone. The gravestone, by the way, that will never be used.